Boy, oh boy, when I first saw that McCain had chosen a name I'd never heard of, and Sarah Palin, name flashed across the screen. My immediate thought was, Sarah, tall and plain. Well, then they put a picture of that lady on, and hey, she's not plain. That's one good-looking American woman. Good-looking any place, any time. I have a feeling that she could win a beauty contest or two. She's not plain. And after seeing a clip or two about her, I was impressed. Last night, I'm talking on the 4th of September and not going to watch the preliminaries but I'm sure going to watch McCain tonight just as last night I didn't watch the preliminaries though I put up with those ex-candidates the competition that McCain beat yuck 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 boy I tell you I'm glad for America that the voters chose McCain mm -hmm. well anyway boy I'll tell you I was in here trying to get a, another video on and I told my wife, yeah, you help me. I want to be in there when she comes on. And I was, thanks to my wife, Donna. And hey, 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 that lady, whoa, that lady represents the best kind of people. Good old fashioned American guts. Three cheers, McCain. Hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray. You did a heck of a job of changing the scenery, changing the ball game. Oh, I'm still for the other side, but oh, gee, I like what I see of you, McCain, and of your choice, Sarah Palin. Mm -hmm. She wowed me, you can tell. She wowed me. And she and McCain represent, put it the other way, of course, McCain's the man that will be president. McCain and Palin represent the very best kind of change, just as Obama and Biden represent the very best kind of change. And what McCain has done here is he shifted the ball game. It's not old Stogie McCain, four more years of W. Bush, heck no. This is a maverick McCain who's always impressed me over the years as being for what's best for America. Sure, he voted within the party. He has to, to keep loyalty, to keep the channels open, so he had this chance to try again to be the president after Bush and Rove and those jerky kind of people ripped him the last time. So the choices before us are, we're going to have change. McCain is saying, hey, Look at what I and this lady who took on the Republican establishment, the old guard, did a real clean-up job in Alaska. Get this lady Maverick and this gentleman Maverick together and we'll give you change. And you out there, all of us in America, we have a choice. Two brands of change. They'll go on and on. Oh, she switched last night at the end and went on and on, knocking Obama and his experience and this, that, and the other. She played the attack dog. Played it dang well, too. I turned that off pretty quick because that was just some more of the same old crappy kind of politics that I don't think is very good for America. Wouldn't it be a shame if we had a little more of what we've seen quite a bit of? Both sides say, hey, the other side's got a good candidate, good pair of candidates. You, America, have a choice. We think these are the reasons we're better instead of knock, 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 knocking the other guy. But McCain sure threw down the gauntlet. America's going to have change. We're not going to have four more years of Bush. We get to choose which party we think can do the best job of providing the change. God bless America. Things are looking up. Things are really looking up.